Hey guys, good morning. It is time for the oil spotlight today. So we're on day number three of the top 10 oils. Today I'm going to talk about lemon. I first talked about lavender for day one and then peppermint. And you can go back and scroll through um, on Facebook. You can scroll through my uh, news feed and you'll be able to see those if you miss those. Super short, quick videos to help you understand and learn how to incorporate some of these oils into your routine or into your life. So lemon essential oil. This one, this is actually the least expensive oil. Um, it's amazing. It can be used for so many things. So first, let's start out with the thing that I always think about when I think of lemon is cleansing. Lemon is super cleansing to our body. Now we can also clean our house with it, which I'll talk about in just a minute, but so cleansing to the body. So what I love to do is I love to take, oops, I love to take my water bottle. This is just a stainless water bottle. And you'll always want to make sure when you're drinking your oils that it's out of stainless steel or glass. And these are the only oils that you should be ingesting. Something that's 100% pure, therapeutic grade, so that you know there's no chemicals or toxins in them, because you certainly would not want to ingest that. But drinking, this is a 25 ounce. I carry this with me everywhere. Like if you ever see me, this is going to be with me. Um, just a great way to stay hydrated, to keep my cells really healthy. When you stay hydrated, it gives you a lot more energy also. And everybody wants more energy, right? So in my 25 ounce water bottle, I put about three drops of my lemon essential oil and I'll do that several times throughout the day. Now this lemon is a little bit different than if you were to squeeze a lemon in your water. That, uh, the flesh or the inside of the lemon, if you'll notice when you drink that, it's a little bit acidic tasting, right? Um, not necessarily bitter, but you guys know what lemon water tastes like. This lemon comes from the outside or the rind or the peel of the lemon. So that's where the oil actually comes from. And it doesn't have that kind of acidic taste. It just tastes delicious. It just tastes kind of light um, and just that, you know, slight hint of lemon flavor. So it's not super overpowering or, you know, too strong. And just to kind of give you an idea of how concentrated these uh, particular oils are, it takes 45 lemons, the outside of 45 lemons, to fill one of these bottles. Y'all, that's crazy, right? Um, the wholesale cost of this is $10. So it, like I said, it's one of the least expensive oils. I use it all the time. I use a bottle about every one to two months. Um, and I'm going to tell you some other things that I use it for in just a minute. So Drinking the lemon in your water throughout the day helps to promote detoxification, so cleansing of your body. You know, we put so many things on and in our body that builds up toxins, and those things are what cause disease. So the more we can eliminate those toxins from our body, then the better off we'll be, the less likelihood we'll be to develop, you know, some type of illness. Now, Lemon also has diuretic properties. So what that means is it helps promote the release of water, right? It helps you go to the bathroom more. It helps you get rid of fluid. Uh, so people who have a lot of swelling or water retention, you know, they're holding on to water. Um, we've all had that probably when we've eaten too much salt. Um, you can drink lemon in your water. And again, it helps to get rid of that extra fluid retention. So those are two really, um, to me, great reasons just to drink lemon in your water every day. Now, when we talk about detoxing our body, lemon helps to clean the lymphatic system, okay? And the lymphatic system is kind of like the system in your body where um, that is actually the cleansing system anyway. It helps to rid your body of chemicals and toxins, and this just kind of bumps, up, bumps that up. Okay, so to speak, it helps our body to um, cleanse on a deeper level. It also is cleansing to the liver and to the kidneys. So overall, just really great. Now, many of you have probably heard um, that it's important to have an alkaline environment in your body, right? So when we have an acidic pH or an acidic environment in our body, that's where disease thrives disease, chronic conditions, illnesses, they thrive in an acidic environment. So the more alkaline 
our body pH, the environment in our body is, again, less likelihood we are to develop um, illnesses. So this lemon essential oil actually promotes that alkaline environment. So again, just another, <clears throat> excuse me, great reason um, to incorporate that and help you to drink more water, really. A lot of people don't really like to drink, um, you know, water. They just tell me that it doesn't have any taste, which it doesn't. But <laughs> our bodies need that hydration really, really badly. And if you can add that lemon to it, it just bumps that up, um, that cleansing property. Okay, speaking of cleansing, this is what I use most. There are actually two oils, and I'll talk about um, in one of the spotlights that I use to clean my house. So all of these toxins and chemicals that we bring into our home, a lot of them through cleaning products, I don't think that we really, there's becoming, we're becoming more aware of it, but I don't think that we really understood the long-term harmful effects that those things can have. So just eliminating some of those things from your environment is going to be huge for your health, for your family's health, and not to mention it's cheaper, guys. It is so much cheaper than buying all these different cleaners for different areas. I can use vinegar, baking soda, and lemon and clean pretty much anything in my house effectively. I'm not talking about like just like skimming over. No, I'm, I'm definitely kind of the clean freak. So I want things to be clean. But guys, it's the, this is pennies per drop and you don't need that much of it, like I said. So that would be another great way that you could eliminate some of those toxins in your home. You can also diffuse lemon um, in your diffuser, just a little bit of water uh, and you know, two or three drops of lemon, and it really helps to kill any odors in the air. Uh, it's very uplifting, so it helps to kind of lift the mood, So, and it smells amazing, right? Just fresh lemon smells great. Other things with cleaning, lemon's a great degreaser. So if you have, you know, a stove that, that needs to be cleaned, got some grease on it, you could put drops of a lemon oil right on that. Um, it's also great for removing sticky residue. So this is what happens to me a lot. I'll buy something, say it's some kind of glass or it's, um, you know, a, a picture frame, let's say, and, you know, there's a sticker on it and you peel that off and then there's it's still stuck, right? So used to, I would probably use something like that Goo Gone stuff, right? That's just probably terrible for you to breathe in and put on your skin. Um, but now what I do is I just take my lemon oil, put a couple of drops, and then all you do is literally rub it and it comes right off. So you can see that this one oil could actually replace a lot of things that you're already buying in your home, right? And it's so much better for you. Um, the other thing in terms of cleaning, laundry. So I, you know, kids, you're going to have stains on the laundry, right? Um, all the time. And you're trying to get stains out. Lemon is a great one to use. You can use it actually right on the stain, um, a little bit of water, and then just scrub it really good. I've gotten out so many stains just with lemon oil. So that's another, um, another great use for it. The last thing that I want to mention, lemon has what we call mucolytic properties. Now, that's just a big word for it helps to break up mucus in your body and helps your body to get rid of it. That's why lemon is in our seasonal blend. Now, remember, if you watched my videos from the last two days, I talked about lavender and peppermint. Those are also in the seasonal blend. So seasonal symptoms, itchy eyes, watery nose, sneezing, uh, congestion. If you suffer with that and you want to get rid of it, then your combination is going to be lemon, lavender, and peppermint. So the way that lemon works in that combination, again, is to help break up that mucus and get rid of it. In fact, I have used just lemon several times. I used to, I haven't had to do this a lot lately, um, but on my daughter, actually, um, she would always have a really stuffy nose. And so I would take the lemon oil with a little bit of coconut oil just to dilute it and rub it right along the bridge of her nose. And that really helps to just kind of open up and um, you know, get rid of some of the mucus that's in there. So again, just another great, lemon's just like, one of those you have to have on hand. It's just like that all purpose oil that you have to have on hand.
So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Please leave if you have uh, questions. And if you want to use some lemon, if you want to use any of these oils, again, we've got seven, what, seven more days that I'm going to go over seven more of the basic oils. And I will tell you how you can get started. There's actually some great promotions this month that um, you can actually get some free oils, which is always awesome. So if you have not already gotten started and you have questions about that, I'll be happy to guide you. What you really need is someone to lead you and guide you and learn how to incorporate these things into your lifestyle um, because it can be overwhelming at first. And that's why I wanted to break down each of these oils, one each day with just some simple tips um, so that you could understand how to incorporate them and use them. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.